Come on over, it's time for Tim Friend. Well, welcome back to Tim Friend. Now that we've gotten past our little disaster of an episode, we're back out here in the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door BP only run in the depths of the jungle on Keel Hall Key. Oh, and this piranha plant friggin' breathing poison gas on us. So now that we've uh, we've come back from our catastrophic software failure, uh, we're rocking into uh, some what are to you new enemies possibly. We've already seen the green fuzzy and flower fuzzy from Glitzville and possibly the Pit of a Hundred Trials. I don't remember. Great, I blew that. Uh, but we've also got these delightful putrid piranhas. These uh, these nasty little buggers. Uh, they like to bite you, like to give you a little chomp. Uh, but we can jump on them as long as we have the spike shield badge. Uh, the putrid piranhas also like to breathe poison on us, which uh, is just just awful because it hits both members of our party. Is he gonna do it? Oh dang it! I didn't block in time. Oh well, at least he got the uh, the extra bit of zap tab damage for his trouble. Not that we need it because now with Jumpman and uh, Power Plus, I think. Uh, we are just absolutely destroying any plant-based uh, fauna. Would piranha plants? I guess since they're plants, they would still be technically flora. So it'd be carnivorous active flora rather than fauna, even though they act much like we would understand uh, fauna to act like. Ooh, who's this little friend? Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. Uh, there are some extra stuff that I could do uh, in between chapters 4 and 5 that I totally spaced on doing, and now I can't do it until all the way after chapter five. But uh, it's not the biggest deal in the world. It's completely optional. It just gives us a little bit of a little bit of an extra tool in our toolbox uh, going forward. But we'll we'll do that after chapter uh, five, the one that we're doing, uh, and then we'll have a delightful time. All right, future piranhas, pink fuzzies, green fuzzies. Uh, this is this is the jungle of Keel Hall Key, uh, where we were, have been shipwrecked and stranded, uh, as I've as I've said previously. Uh, this is our second expedition into the jungle. Uh, thankfully, we do not have to make a third. Uh, I don't believe, at least, uh, it, it's just a little bit of a throwback to Chapter Four in making us potentially go into this freaking jungle a uh, total of three times if you did not get the, the coconut. And why would you? It's just a freaking coconut. How on earth are you supposed to know what Flavia wants? See that tree back there? That's a coconut tree. That's right. Can you guess where I got the coconut? I bet you can. It's a bunch of smart cookies, that's what you are. Here's Admiral Boppery. We found him out in the jungle, right where we left him, supposedly dying, even though he's, I mean, he's still rotating that old sea uh, boat. That, those old sea boats, that old ship's wheel he's got in his back. Well, let's give him that chuckle cola And as you would expect for a Bobbery, a bob with this kind of mustache and this kind of outfit, he's got a, a British accent. Mm, sniff, sniff. I'm not going to actually sniff uh, because that, I don't know how well that would turn out on the microphone. Uh, that distinctive bouquet. You, you've brought it? Mm, slurp. Ah, uh, this glorious flavor, dear boy. It awakens the mouth. So the sea was generous enough to deliver me this one last grace, eh? I have nothing left in this world now. Thank you for granting my last wish. Now I shall be re reunited with my dear Scarlet. Farewell, Captain Mario. Oh yeah, Flavio made us the captain. Not the navigator, but the captain. Well, we can still talk to him. He's still clearly breathing. <laughs> He's just... Motherfucker just sleeping. Let's bonk him on the head. Hop, hop, what, what? Yobba, yobba, pirates? Where are those pirates? What? Uh, who? He? Not quite with it yet, huh? What now? Oh, Mario, old boy, it's you. You have adventures in the afterlife as well. Capital. Hey, you're still alive, you nutcase. Ah, uh, hmm. Yes, well, really? This isn't a tropical paradise for fallen sailors? Ah, oh, right. Now I recall. Mario, old boy, we still have work to do. Better take me with you, I should say. I'm sure my sea legs and explosive personality will be rather useful, eh? Barbary joined your party. Oh my god, we do have to go back. We do have to backtrack. Even with me losing fucking footage, you still get to watch me backtrack. Curse this game. Curse this Blurses game that I love so much. Alright, we got Barbary's abilities. We've seen cracked walls and, and uh, horizontal columns and shit like that. Now we got a person who is also a bomb to explode them. For some reason, this is not lethal. 
It just, uh, he just falls back down. So he does, he also does explosion type damage, which is apparently just a type of damage that you can have in this game. Uh, it does extra damage to enemies that are made of fire, which doesn't make any fucking sense to me, but uh, whatever. Uh, and that is relevant because we will be seeing enemies made of fire. You haven't seen them, but 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 we have. We being the, the ghosts of the audience that watched the lost episodes. We've seen these, these cursed... Uh, flaming ghost things. That was cute. We're so rarely able to land that, but it fucking worked. I'm super down. And if you land Bobbery's uh, attack in order to get the first strike, then you don't even you don't even ding dang need to do the action command. You just always do it nice. We'll jump on that piranha. So we've got Bobbery. He's got bomb. I know. It's uh it's pretty uh pretty explosive take is that he will as a sentient bomb We'll go and explode on people. I know, I know. Listen, no one gets how wild it is more than I do. Uh, but then he will also throw out little tiny Admiral Bobberies that will sit around and explode on the next turn. Or some shit. Like at the end of the next round, I think is technically when they explode. But who gives a dunk? Excuse me, Mr. Putrid Piranha. Love all this backtracking. God, it's so good. Remember how last chapter I hated how we had to go like back and forth through that fucking route like five times? Well, at least this one is, uh, honestly, it's about as long. <laughs> it's about as long as that. Uh, but we don't have to do the same dungeon twice. We just have to do one dungeon once. Uh, and the enemies are not nearly as annoying once you can hand, once you sort of know how to handle them. Oh, yep, now Bobbery's poisoned. So poison's brutal just because uh, it makes long fights. Uh, it make, it, it's just especially deleterious in long fights. Because it will do one damage every turn for nine turns. And that's uh, that's rough stuff. That's rough stuff, McGruff. Uh, for a single attack that did, like, one damage and then put another nine on him? I don't like it. I don't want it. I don't want any more of it. All right. We got uh, two more green fuzzy. Boop. Insta-gib. Turn them into giblets. A boing and a boing. Definitely got to hit that flower fuzzy because that takes a much more... Uh, more precious resource to me than than my my shitty health that I do not even care about. We will use his bomb. We're just gonna use Bobbery for a while. He does more damage than most people. Oh, the scene's gonna fall on him. Done. Get out. He does more damage than I think most of my my partners. He might be just like the most damaging partner in the game. Uh, there are others that have uh, their uses. Like uh, when we fight. Big bob -ombs, which we fought in the Pit of 100 Trials, those big, big pink bob -ombs. Uh If we use Bobbery on them, he will make them detonate prematurely. Uh, but unfortunately, a premature big bomb bomb explosion is just as bad as a fully matured and, and deliciously ripened, ripened big bob -ombs explosion. In that it fucking sucks and will also set off every other big bob -ombs. So there are times where we will want to use people instead of Bobbery. Fuck you. What do you got? Yeah, don't jump on Bobbery, jump on me. I'm the one who's fucking immune to your horse shit. Jump on me with the zap tap. Because if you jump on me, then uh, then I don't take any damage and I don't have to do anything. You just get a little bit of electrocute and you go on your merry way. Wish the fucking stage... I hate those fucking... Those little smoke sparklers. Those little spark smokelers. I don't want any of them. I want none of them. I know I could have done that better. I'm, I'm a little distracted. Now I've got all these ding dang one health green fuzzies. At least they're gonna jump. That one jumped on me, so that one's gone. So I can definitely kill the both of them with this round. All right. So yeah, this one's less backtracky. This this chapter's less backtracky and uh, less infuriating enemies. Like the it's really the fucking the sleep uh, is so brutal, and the the hyper attack enemies are also quite brutal. Uh, we won't see anything quite that horrible for a long time. Uh, what I'm thinking of is when we run into uh, cold enemies, enemies that may freeze us. Uh, you remember being frozen directly led to uh, one of my deaths out there in the Twilight Woods. Those jerks, those, that, those, that jerk stage, the like cryotechnic effects, giving me my ding dang first death of the game possibly? I don't remember. Ah, it is Barbary. Welcome back to you. Do you know how worried we were? My stomach has been most upset. 
I must worry about everyone here, but who worries for Flavio? No one. Do you know how hard it is for me to sit here in safety and worry so much? I do not know what is out there waiting to lurch in and snack upon me. We do not even know how to get home for the sake of the blue briny sea. But no, Morielli. Now is the time to pull together and work as a team. Flavio, old boy, I must say, you talk rather too much. Such insolence. Ugh, I growl at you like an angry jungle beast. I ought to... So in any case, Mario, about that crystal star you spoke of earlier. It was a rather odd rock in the far east of the jungle with a skull carved into it. Well, it's an old sea bomb's intuition, but that skull rock smells suspicious. Hehehe. <laughs> hey, Bobbery. You want to know what really smells suspicious? Flavio's armpit. Oh, it smells like low tide. <laughs> but seriously, you may be onto something with that skull rock. I say that's where the treasure is. Well, anyone could figure that out, you mutinous joker. I mean, how obvious. I was already saying in my head that the treasure is certainly behind that rock. And as such, I will continue the noble duty of protecting this camp from invasion. Captain Mario, carry on. I am sorry to make so many requests, but you know... Flavio, you old cash grubber. If you want treasure, why don't you go get it yourself? Oh, well, yes, uh, Admiral. You see, I... Whoop, 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 whoop. Well, yes, you have a point. Let us decide this fair and square, shall we? Listen to me, everyone. Who thinks I should go along to investigate this gold rock? Everyone says yes. <laughs> One person says, have fun out there, jerk. Amazing. There you have it, Flavio. Fair and square. Hey, what? <laughs> um, no, not fair. Flavio hates you all. Flavio will join you for a short time. He is about as capable in combat as you would expect, uh, in that he does not participate whatsoever and makes us do all the work. Though I would love to have this fucking unprecedented, bizarrely shaped friend uh, be a companion in a Mario game. Like, what is going on with him? He's got a, got a big long nose, he's got a, like a powdered purple wig or some shit. Next time on Tim Friend, uh, we will make our way to the Skull Rock with Flavio in tow. Bye everybody. Wah 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 w